Ryan Drenner here from the Whip Snakes Lacrosse Club. You're tuning into the Fast Break. We have a great episode this week. Let's get into it. What's up everyone? And as you can probably tell, we're not on our normal Fast Break set. No, nope, we're at the famous East Coast Dyes headquarters here in Baltimore, Maryland, where RJ and I just happen to be from. And our special guest today, Ryan Drenner, is also from Maryland. RJ, did you know that Drenner and I went to the same high school? I did not, but now I do. Go out. Let's get into the opening face off. The players top 50 list has started to drop. Numbers 50 through 36 have been released and among the big names are Tim Troutner, Sergio Perkovic and Drew Snyder. Do you agree with the list so far? Let us know. Our Black Friday deals went wild. Same with Cyber Monday. 49 of 50 states bought PLL gear. Uh, we're waiting on one state. But with the holiday deals coming up, I'm sure we'll get all 50. Plus, two episodes of our Japan series, Breaking Barriers, has released on YouTube. It's a behind-the-scenes look at what our players did while they were over in Tokyo. Oh! They were absolutely immersed in the sport, fully in love. They told me they want to play a class. The link is right up above for you to check it out. And expansion draft details are now live. If you are one of the founding six clubs, you get to restrict 10 players and a goalie to make sure that they're not drafted to the seventh club. The rest of the expansion draft details are linked down below. Oh, hey, Ryan. What's going on, guys? How are you? I'm doing well. Ooh, right on time. You want to get things going? Let's do it. Let's go. So Ryan had some incredibly clutch moments in 2019, and he's going to walk us through them today. But before we get into that, let's get into some crazy numbers. Now, Ryan, you earned the nickname Mr. Clutch this season, and for good reason. You had the most game-winning goals this season with four. The only person behind you was Deemer Class at two. You also tied Will Manny, Marcus Holman, and Ned Crotty for the most fourth quarter and overtime goals. Did you know any of that? I didn't, but that's some good company. <laughs> Week two in New York, you're in your second overtime game against Chrome. What happened, Ryan? It was kind of a long period of overtime there, a little helter-skelter. Tim came down on a fast break. We ran a pass down, pick down, which was our game plan going into that game. Tim came down, passed me the ball. I kind of waited for Tim to come set this pick. My defender went under. Tim's defender stepped out, and the miscommunication there on defense left me with my hands free. Takes a whack, gets the shot, and he scores! Ryan Dredder, this week's hero! Ryan, what's one piece of info that the viewer can take away from that game winning goal? Yeah, so something you can do to kind of mimic what I was just talking about. Imagine a line going straight up the middle of the field. You want to get your shot off before that line and you want to keep your body on the same half of the field that you're on. So if I was here coming to shoot, instead of fading across the middle of the field, as I get to the middle, I turn my shoulder, get it towards the goal, and make sure my back shoulder is towards my target. And then we had week three in Chicago, another exciting matchup between the archers. You guys were down in the fourth and then you came through for the website. I think what got us going in that fourth quarter leading into overtime, I hit a two. I think I surprised not only myself, but everyone, both teams, all the fans. Yeah. It's my first time ever taking a two point shot. And then they, they hit another go ahead goal. And then we came right back down to force overtime. Drew Snyder fed me on the crease and then we moved into overtime. Do you want to walk us through it? The whole play was made by Drew Snyder. He was up at the midline. The archers were trying to clear. Snyder. Picked it off one handed, <laughs> tiptoed the sideline. Right before he fell out of bounds, he threw it off. Jules caught it in the middle and made the one more pass. To he step on the line. It stays in bounds. Gandelman comes out in coverage and left the net open. Dreader in overtime for the second straight week. Okay, week four, 20 minutes from here at Hopkins. Night game sold out. Take us through it. Well, that was a, a ton of fun to play in that game. Joe Nardella started taking advantage of the faceoff X. Joe won the faceoff. He comes down, and since he's such a scoring threat, you know, the defense has to slide to him. He made the one more pass to me, and I just tried to get my shot off as quick as possible. And now it's Nardella for Trenner, and he's got another one! And then I tried to do on that shot. A few minutes prior to that, I scored a goal on Jack where I shot overhand high. And so I knew that I had to mix up my release a little bit. So that one, I kind of went sidearm, bounced off the ground, and it skipped up over his, over his left hip. And that's exactly why he is nicknamed Mr. Clutch, the most game-winning goals this season with four eight fourth quarter goals on top of that. Ryan, you uh, are going to help us out with our giveaway later. No way. No? Let's go. Can yeah. I see? Yeah, you can see. Uh, we'll give a small sneak peek. Uh, Greg. 
Got it ready to roll, RJ? Woo! Nice. It's beautiful. Ryan, this was this was great, man. It was Thanks a lot of fun. Time nice. with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. What are you gonna go do? I don't know. It's kind of raining, so I guess play with Beckham inside today. Nice. It's gonna be an indoor nice. Day. We have some great moments of you <laughs> and Beckham. <laughs> Give him twos! Twos! <laughs> maybe Beckham will be up next one day. Yes, so. maybe he'll be a little whip snake one day. Little whippersnapper he is. I've got Mackenzie Blake, 2021 out of Haddonfield, New Jersey. And she's got moves, Lisa. Who do you have up next? I've got Sam Smith. She is a midfielder and draw specialist, class of 2021, and has already committed to playing at Northwestern. Very impressive. So make sure to vote for Mackenzie. Uh, vote for right Sam. Up there. Vote for Mackenzie. Should get your personal space over there. And we want to feature more women's lacrosse here on Up Next, so send your highlights into highlights at premierlacrosseleague.com. <laughs> That's the final whistle. B Robs, what's the giveaway this week? Oh, good job. We have a fast break times ECD head that we're giving away. But first, last week's winners. These are the five winners that are going home with a three pack of Hex Lacrosse balls. Make sure to send a message to at PL Nation to claim your prize. Lisa, how can they win this? <laughs> oh my God. All you have to do this week is tell us how many game winning goals Ryan Drenner had this season. And you'll get a chance to win the first ever fast break edition head strung up by the East Coast guys guys this week. They spent a lot of work on it. It's a pretty one. Yeah, it's really nice. Very nice. So like this video, comment below the answer to our final whistle question. What else, Lisa? Um, subscribe. Subscribe. And the holidays are right around the corner. Have you gone shopping yet? Because we have, and we got these cool Whoa. sweaters. Bro Woods is probably the best one. You should go check it out. Little guy's got a hat on. Probably the champion. Lisa's is, is cool too. Check that out, link down below. Uh, probably won't be in the same place next week. I don't know where we're gonna no. go. No, we'll where will we be? Somewhere else, I don't know. Maybe we'll be back in LA. You have to tune in to find out. We'll see you next week.